Let's do Oh, the Places You'll Go. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, go ahead and talk. I got to go in my notes. Go, go ahead. And, what do you think of Oh, the Places You'll Go? Oh, the Places You'll Go. Um, Stone Cold classic for me. Oh, man. Stone um, Cold. Like Steve the- Austin. <laughs> <laughs> alcohol fueled too just like steve austin no. yeah i highly doubt some of these were written sober i highly doubt it um, but that's part of the imagination david <laughs> welcome to the imagination station um anyway so gotta hop in our transmogrifier and head on into the world of stuffed tigers so anyway sorry I'll yeah go for it <laughs> so um for me one of the the real strengths of Dr. Seuss's books are those illustrations which sort of captivate you, which mm. not only which sort of they are imaginative, but they also feed your imagination. Yes. Um, and like pretty much every page of Oh, the Places You'll Go is like this for me, just like these, these beautiful illustrations that not only are very imaginative in and of themselves, but they have the ability to spark and feed imagination, mm. especially in young children. I, yeah. this is one of the books that really did that for me as a, as a child, I just read that. My mind was just like, Ooh, you know? Um, and on top of that, it's, uh, it's got a, uh, it's got a great, it's very well written and it's got a great message to it. Oh, dude, yeah. So if I was going to rank this, S for sure. I completely wholeheartedly agree. My notes here I wrote, best book I've read so far. I was expecting it to be cutesy and fun, but it took a lot of turns that I wasn't expecting with great life lessons, S plus, but we'll just say S. Um, something I also did was, great quote, I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win because you'll play against you. I think that kind of goes to some of the heart of this book as well and one of the many lessons you can find inside it. Um, Also as a quote, you've got brains in your head, which I liked very much. So I'm going to put, uh, oh shoot, where did it go? Oh, the places you'll go. David, where is it? I don't see it on here. I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So we're going to put it up in S tier. It's that good. Better or worse? Or are they equal? Than no, no, no S. Oh, S. Sorry. I was looking at SS. It's, it's, it's excellent, an S-tier. but it's, it's not excellent. spicy. Yeah, it's not spicy. But it's pretty dang good. I think it's one of the, my favorites. So um, let's go to the bottom of the barrel, David, with, it's with the title of 10 Apples Up on Top. What do you think of this book by Leo Lasig? Theo um, Lasig. Solid D. That's uh, exactly where I have it. I have nothing else to say, really, except it's a cute book. Not much there. Also, yeah, I read it as a child. Yeah. But, I mean, even as a kid, it's like, mm, whatever. Yeah. There's really nothing nothing much to say about it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put 10 apples up on top at a solid D. With 10 apples up on top, David, I want to go... Oh, I also wrote down here, home invasion, damaging property, property, juvenile delinquents causing trouble, insurance fraud, bad ending, not conclusive. So 10 <laughs> apples... Right in the deep.